Everyone always asks, what food describes Houston best? And I don't have an answer for that because what describes the Houston food scene best is the diversity. Burgers are such a classic food. You can never have enough. I want it to be Houston's favorite burger. Burger Bodega is a smash burger concept that we started as a pop-up in September 2021. A real smash burger starts off with a ball of beef. You then smash it onto the grill, so thin, it sticks to the grill. You need a paint scraper to scrape it off the grill. We recommend a double, so it's two thin patties, cheese on both patties, on a potato roll. That's the most classic rendition of a smash burger. The smash burger market is really starting to take shape in different parts of the, parts of the nation, and we felt like Houston was lacking in that so we really wanted to capitalize on that and bring it here to Houston. Before I was doing this and I still am I went by the name Houston Eats with a Z. I was an Instagram influencer. I showcased different Houston restaurants. When I decided to do Burger Bodega I wanted to give a look and a feel of a bodega and take it a step further by making it a fun functional bodega where you can actually pick up things and buy them. So I tied it into Houston Eats by showcasing different Houston restaurants. We wanted to give uh, the look and a feel of a bodega and uh, make you feel like you were in an actual bodega, but we wanted to have fun with it. We put up products on the shelf, but put our own branding to it uh, with, H with Houston elements. So you have your, your detergent that, that says H-Town on it. You have different cereals with our mascot that also pays homage to bodega culture by having a cat on it. We have our mayonnaise, we have our HOU ketchup, HOU mustard. And then one thing that really catches people's eye is the soda. It says 713 up, which is a huge respect to Houston culture as well. So obviously we have the double smash burger, the burger that we built our whole business on. We have also in single and triple, but we recommend the double. Chopped cheese pays homage to New York. We have the screwed fries, which pays homage to the screwed and chopped culture here in Houston. Screwed fries are just our regular cheese fries, grilled onions and bodega sauce. And then obviously we have our chopped fries, which is also paying homage to screwed and chopped. It's our chopped cheese version of fries, paying respect to H-Town. The last thing for dessert is our, our shakes. We have our, your classic vanilla chocolate strawberry. Then we have Vietnamese coffee. And then we also added the mango lussi milkshake, which pays homage to my, cult, my Pakistani culture. When you walk around the streets of New York, everywhere you look, something is tagged or, or vandalized. I always found such beauty in it. I wanted to pay respect to that. If you go up these stairs, it should kind of feel like you're, you're looking at a subway station. You know, those walls are typically tagged up. And then you got your wall here, uh, like you're going into, like a, uh, into a back alley. So what we did was um, local artist here, Donkey Boy, has a group of students who paint cats and the cats are also paying respect to Bodega. We had uh, artists, graffiti artist Noke come and vandalize over their, their cute cats, but he did it with meaning. The building that we're in right now, it was fire station number 11 from 1937 to 1991. We paid respect to that. We got a little area where we're paying respect to my grandfather, uh, Donkey Boy, any, anything kind of Houston related. We drip through your city on men comes down to your food. We want to make sure that they are happy with our food. Obviously, we're more of like hip hop environment, paying respect to New York. If anything, I, I just hope that you gain something from your experience from the moment you walk out of the door.